Hey, David here with DIY Mountain Bike. Going to talk about measuring the bottom bracket on a bike in order to convert it to electric. So, what do you need tools wise? If you've got one of these, a little electronic calipers, really cheap. You can get them on Amazon. I'll have a link below. Or a small little ruler that has metric on it. You want a ruler with metric on it. And if you're going to convert a bike, you might want to consider getting what's called spacers, bottom bracket spacers for your mid drive. A lot of varying sizes in the alignment of the bottom bracket to the cogs in the back. You can use these spacers to fix some clearance issues. Let's jump into some close ups. So we don't have to make this a long, complicated video. If you've got a small set of calipers, Turn this guy on. Make sure you're in the millimeter setting. Make sure it's set to zero. The painted portion only, that's all you're measuring. You do not want to get these bottom bracket lock rings, okay? With this bike, I can't get the calipers in there. So these are not the right tool for this. If you've got a small ruler, you can stretch it across there. Make sure you're lined up your zero on the paint right down here. Let me get that just right, 68 millimeters. So typical bottom brackets, 68 to 72 is a standard. That's basically one size. They also have 100 millimeters and then 120. Those 100 and 120s, fat tire bikes. That's what those are usually used for. This is an older style bike, 68 millimeters on the dot. Again, you can get the same unit mid-drive buffeting that will go from 68 to 72. So that's how you measure the bottom bracket electric conversion. Thanks.